actual tag is I had a great day. I had a really productive Sunday. I'm going to be at the beach tomorrow, so I had to get a lot of stuff done. And my friend Brian dropped by. He's going to start helping me edit my videos. So if you guys notice a pickup in videos or editing, that's him. Um, so if anyone also gets interested or has questions about his work, he does amazing work, um, just shoot me a message and I can talk more about that. Today's a really exciting video. We are going to be doing thrifted items that I pulled from my closet. Things in my own collection, things I've kept. I get asked a lot about this on my Instagram. There are times where I will sell stuff from my own closet, so I think that's why this is interesting for you guys to see. It's also just fun because obviously the things that I love the most are the things I have kept, especially if they fit me. Let's start with this stock here. Moschino. Of course, this is not a hoodie, but these are on the top of the pile. I actually forgot I had these for a few weeks, and I just, like, rediscovered them. That's what's so fun about this. Um, but they are joggers. They're super lightweight. They're obviously Moschino. Bands at the bottom. Size 8. So they actually fit me perfectly with, like, a little bit of wiggle room. Obviously, I have a Moschino, and it's, like, on the back kind of not butt, but, like, hip. The only pants that I can fold and still see are my jeans. Everything else, like, needs to be hung on a pant hanger. Next is a pullover. Hoodie, whatever gonna call it this one was folded so it's a little bit wrinkly um i just think it's really cool i actually was not familiar with this brand and it looks i don't know some type of like streetwear maybe probably like a local new york brand there's a lot of those um or it's wholesale trash but i just kind of get the vibe that it is chill it's a really thick cool like nice blue color and it just has really nice distressing hope you guys can see and it's just cozy it looks cuter when it's not like wrinkly it is one of my favorites this is also probably one of the most recent definitely not the most recent but recent this is boys lie the front is embroidered and it says what are you going to do without him i love this hoodie and the back is this cool graphic and it says whatever i want this goes like almost to my knees um i got this on poshmark actually it was in like new condition, she probably wore it a few times. I only paid, I think, like 95, and it was probably like 200 originally. Next hoodie, this is Nike, and I got a little uh, bleach stain on it, so I just kind of wear it as a cozy, or if I'm like running across the streets to the deli, I'll toss it on. I'm probably gonna bleach it eventually one day and distress it because I think the bleach mark was kind of pink. Let me find it. It'd probably look cool if I bleached it. This one I don't know if I should include or not because I feel like I might get shot on because I didn't really thrift this but I did get it at a resale store downtown. Um, it's called Round 2 if you guys are familiar or you're into that type of thing. They have a vintage store and then the regular store and the regular store stuff ranges but they have a lot of really cool stuff. I would definitely re recommend checking it out if you're on the Lower East Side. I just saw this Supreme hoodie one day and I really liked it a lot. I wish it was a bigger size because that's how I like my hoodies. I definitely paid over retail for this. It was brand new. Two tops because I think there's a lot of them. The first one I'm showing you guys I'm actually wearing right now. This is thrifted. I got it at Crossroads. I want to say I paid like 20 bucks. The next top, this is from Zara. This I think I probably paid $7 for at the Goodwill. The, like texture and it's fun to pair with other things. Semi sheer. Oh, there's a stain. Hm, I need to wash this. Um, LF. I actually just got this and I think I'm going to wear this in Miami. Problem is it's very see-through in the like chest area if you know what i'm saying a poshmark purchase i think i got this for like 15 bucks it's from aritzia it's basically this shirt but bigger and a halter style and it's like a little bit thicker but it's ribbed this is really comfortable but it also kind of hurts my neck i love getting basics from aritzia this is also a bodysuit you guys which i'm gonna lump in with the top it's from alexander wang who we don't really stand anymore still we'll sometimes pick him up if it's second hand better in my closet and on my body than in the landfill even if i don't like him um it's obviously ribbed <laughs> or stitched i don't know what you'd call this i thrifted i think i paid eight dollars just brandy melville sheer crop other things this shirt i actually really like okay i'm literally this is shocking to me because this is from fashion nova you guys which i would never ever order from um no hate if you do but <laughs> based on just like having a sustainable business and kind of being into that stuff. No, I try and avoid fast fashion as much as possible because I know there all are, are better alternatives. I, I got it from Crossroads. It's just cute. And it's satiny. We'll sell at some point, but I have worn it to the club a few times. I'm not mad about it. You know what I'm saying? 
I guess I'm trying them all on now, you guys. But this one I really love. It was new with tags from Reformation. I think I paid 20 ish dollars. And I didn't think I was gonna like this top on me, but I actually love it. You can also kind of wear it this way. I wore this last weekend in the Hamptons and I was having, I was feeling all the vibes. This is from Zara, you guys. I love the knot situation in the front. This I probably paid $7 for from, I think, Goodwill. This is one that I may sell in the future. It's similar to some of the Aritzia tops that I have. You can never have too many. And I definitely could get rid of it, but for now, I like her and she's staying. Next top, you guys, I got from my friend Alexa. If you follow me on Instagram, you definitely see her all the time. Sometimes she goes live with me. I love the little cow print and it's satin. I wouldn't necessarily wear it like this, but I think it does look cute with this top underneath. I like to wear it open or I will button it halfway, leave it open a little bit on the bottom. Something of the nature. This one's really cool because I thrifted this in Barcelona and then cropped it and my host mom from when I studied abroad sewed it for me or hemmed it up while I was there. How cute. I had two of these. One I did sell to a friend actually. Oh, I feel like it's just not my style, but it is 100% silk. I probably got this for $8 from Goodwill. It's super long. More of a maybe marble-ish. Don't look at my nails. This, I'm not gonna try on, it's kind of just basic. Cool, this is from Madewell, it's an extra small. This one I might sell, I'm not 100% yet, but I wanna wear it out, see how I feel. Has lace basically down the middle, around the chest. And then at the bottom as well, I would tuck this into jeans, obviously. I like the little cutout here, I think it's cute, but the fact that it has mesh and it's still kind of like classy or tasteful without being like, you're naked. Okay, for these, there's actually not that many, which is kind of embarrassing. For some reason, vintage shirts, t-shirts, really good ones are hard for me to come by, especially in the city all the time. They go quick, always on Instagram, and it's something I'm working on sourcing more, hopefully online. The few that I have, I really love. They're mine, and I'm keeping them. Favorite current, this one's vintage. It's a single stitch. This one I got from a really, really sweet old man downtown. Rolling Stones, oversized, really cool. People always wanna buy this off of me on my Instagram sales. This one I just love, so for now, she's sticking with me, but maybe one day I will sell. It's a California Carlsbad tee. This I'm not 100% if it's vintage, but the tag definitely looks to be like at least 90s, and it's 100% cotton. It has some bleach on it. I think it probably came like that or someone added it. This one isn't vintage, but it's a really cool Harley pocket logo and it's Wildwood, New Jersey, which is so funny to me because that's like where I went after prom for high school and that was the only time I ever went to Wildwood and I have absolutely no desire to go back. This one's really cool. I posted an Instagram photo in this the other day. It's vintage Fleetwood Mac, has been distressed a bit. Someone I'm assuming, well, I'm no, I'm not assuming. It's for sure <laughs> was cut, the stitches up here. I think it's sick. Um, and this is a 97. This one's a small. Obviously, Free People runs weird. Their sizing is ridiculous. Um, this one's kind of like a little cardigan. Not the sleeves, because it definitely has some actual substance to it. Super cute, honestly. This one's Free People. I love this one. I think it's so different. Colors are just really cool. It's different. I don't have a lot of color in my closet, so when I see something that is colorful that I like, I definitely gravitate towards it. It has ribbed leaves and it zips up it has a hood it's just so different and it's comfy that's like the free people that i like when they get all lacy schmacy schmoozy no that's not my vibe but i can appreciate it this is like definitely oversized it's a small though part cashmere part nylon i love the cutout neck i love the cutout trend this one's also free people this is another that I'm not totally attached to. Chunky, kind of gray, puffy shoulders. It looks way cuter when it's tucked into jeans or something, but it has these cute, ruffly, puffy sleeves stitching down the arm, which I think is my favorite part. Very feminine. That's the vibe. I think this is probably a small, oversized. Again, this is already getting so long. These are from Zara. Painy jogger and i'm obsessed with them i did tragically spill an orange no a purple cocktail on them in miami but somehow even though i didn't wash them until days later came out these are actually a bit big on me now so i will probably sell these fairly soon but they're j crew they're silk cheetah pants these are reformation i haven't decided if i'm keeping these yet they were actually a recent cop they're these baby blue not baby blue royal blue Get it together, Angela. These shorts are from Ghani. These are, I think, a medium or a small, but they fit me perfectly. They have a cute slit right here, and I definitely want to style them for summer. See how I feel about them. Maybe after I hit the gym for like two weeks or something. <laughs> you guys know, if you know me or you follow me on Instagram, I'm not big on dresses, but I have been getting more into them. And it's when I started sourcing more of them and doing more research, instead of wanting to wear a hoodie every day of my life, that I kind of 
found a little love for them. This one I thrifted. It's from Reformation. It's blue and ribbed. This one is up on my Poshmark. This one's a vintage slip that I actually got last week. A lot of really pretty lace detail. You could wear this. It's all lace here, but you could wear it with a bralette. This is a Sandro new with tags dress. This one I do have tagged actually from my pop-up. They're super cute. They look like that. The actual tag is still on here and this is a $445 dress. Someone asked me to try this on on a live the other day and it looks so good on my body, you guys. Which is rare for me to say or feel in a dress. So I'm gonna keep it listed. If it sells, it sells, but I'm gonna keep it in my closet and if I have an event or a place to wear it to, before it sells, then I will wear it. This is the last sweatery type, but I had this kind of put in with the hoodie slash jackets because it's not really a full sweater. It's a sweater sleeve. I have one of these in black that I got from a small boutique in Williamsburg. It's like the most functional, unfunctional item, if that makes sense. And oh, it's an extra small. See, maybe it would look better if it was like bigger. This is from Storettes, you guys. If you don't know this brand, they make cool stuff. They're kind of annoying because I'm pretty sure everything is either like a smaller medium and it doesn't go any larger than that which is kind of shitty this is oversized so i had no problem with it and i did thrift it so it was new with tags actually it's just a zip up but it's nice and cozy it doesn't have pockets which is annoying but i feel like that's almost why i like the vibe i basically bought this for my brother he wanted me to sell it for him it was a little too small on him but instead i bought it and kept it for myself i did give him some money because whatever but it's a limited off-white hoodie that was a collab with the museum of chicago or museum of art of chicago it says virgil or ablo on the back which i quite like it's technically not thrifting but it is secondhand and it is hustling next is this levi's really distressed denim jacket i got this at goodwill i want to say last week or the week before and i paid 30 dollars for it which is kind of a lot considering the massive hole in the back but i think the hole was intentional when i kind of look at the stitch i just really vibe with this jacket hard i don't know i actually really like the little cutout back here it'd be cool if you had a tattoo down your back and you were wearing this it's just shredded in all the right places it fits me perfectly like not too oversized but not like skin tight someone would definitely buy that for me but because i paid so much i would want to sell it for a decent amount and I'd rather just keep it honestly because I do really like it. Okay, last item you guys I got maybe two weeks ago it's This really sick palace crew neck Gives me a vintage vibe. Um, I haven't tried looking it up. So I'm not sure if it is vintage yet It's a small there was a tiny mark on the front and I actually ended up getting it out Which was amazing. It looked like it was just makeup Perfect item to end off the video in you guys make sure you guys go follow my Instagram if you don't already I will pop it on the side right here as usual everything's also linked down below and i will talk to you guys in the next video have a good one